Hello, Heather. That's right. Right, that's the lot. Yeah. Be sure you can look after yourself. Yeah, no bother. You go and have a great time. Oh, and give him a big kiss off me and a big hug for our Claire. I'm trusting you, you know. No wild parties in here while I'm away. Oh, hey, right, Dad, would I? Yes, you would, but I'm telling you, don't. I won't. And another thing, no laying in bed all day. You've got a job to look after, so stick to it. Hang on, Dad. How old do you think I am? About six most of the time. So I'll try and prove me wrong, eh? I will. You'll see. When you come home, the house will be spotless. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear it. Are you sure you've got enough money? Yeah. Well, the 50 quid I've given you is for emergencies only. I'd like it all back when I get home. I'm all right. OK. <laughs> yeah, it's only me worrying about you. Right. See ya. Ta da, lad. Either they've started bringing them loonies here already, or stop lad Grant trying to join them. You what? Damon, dancing like a bloody Mohican. He's a bit old for cowboys and Indians, isn't he? That's what I'm saying. He's finally gone round the twist. Oh, uh, poor lad. What time is it? Uh, nearly 25 to. Edna, I thought you wanted to see that Grant bloke. He's gone in, hasn't he? Who has? Young Grant. I don't know who's the worse, you or her. It's Russell Grant she wants to see, not Genghis Gook. Oh, well, she wants to get a move on then. If it opens at 12, you know. That's what I've been saying. Doesn't anybody listen to me? With a voice like yours, they can hear you in London. Uh, no need to tap Harry's phone, eh? <laughs> oh, your girlfriend's here, is she? You can gang up on me now, can you? Well, come on. We're going to be late. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Oh, yeah, he's gone. I'm the master of the house now. Oh, hey. That's horrible. No, no. I was just drinking some with Mam Sherry. Don't know how she stands the stuff. Oh, yeah, don't worry. We'll get some proper stuff in. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. We'll have those girls round. <laughs> right, OK. Yeah, see it outside the main entrance. ta -ra. And uh, I'm sure the fate's going to be really, really great because with health cuts as they are, we need to raise as much money as we can to keep all the services going. So I hope you're going to have a great time. Any Torians here? Well, you want to go straight to the cake stall, OK? And uh, what about you, Aries? Any Aries? There we are, some areas over there. Well, great for you, because I predict you're going to spend, spend, spend. And uh, buy me something while you're at it. So there we are, have a super day. It's a bit blowy, but I think you're going to have a great time. So I declare this fate open. That's all this you're missing. Oh, we'll still be there. Why is she looking so miserable? And what did you want to see him anyway? He's an astrologer. She wanted her fortune told. I said, you wanted your fortune... Edna? Hey, where's she gone? Edna! What do you credit her, eh? She's got herself lost already. Oh, hey. Eh? We'll never find him in this lot. We will. Keep looking. Hey, we're looking for them, right? But maybe they're looking for us, and we're all going round in circles missing each other. So what do you suggest? You do want to meet them again, don't you? Of course I do. Mine was fit. Mine was wally. <laughs> oh, useless. Absolutely useless. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you did hit the wall at the back. It's pathetic. <laughs> All right, Smarty, you have the glass scope. See if you can do better. I couldn't do worse. Go on, then. I won a goldfish once. It died. Oh, that's cruel. At least coconuts are far more moral. Ah, what a load of rubbish. <laughs> now, you think, had it been a shooting gallery, I would have won you something. Because I'm good with guns. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, come on in. Let's go and find ourselves a shooting gallery, and you can win us a cuddly toy. It's me again, Tom. 
Don't you ever play back your messages on this thing? Please call me. I'm getting anxious about you now. Or don't you want to speak to me? Well, we were looking for you too. Never mind all that. We found you now. We found you, you mean. Eh, we all found each other, eh? After being dead obsessive, you haven't seen me. I would, yeah. I'll get out with if I haven't seen you. Not just saying that. No, well, straight up. That's nice. Ain't it? Oh, my God. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, should we, um, go off and not bother with them, then? If you like. Yeah, OK, come on. Oh, I want to know. We uh, didn't think he wanted to be disturbed. Where are you going? Just gonna go and have a look round. Did you get his autograph for us? His autograph? Your muscles, Gibby. Oh, why? Yeah, well, not yet. You see, I'd said I'd see him later. Did you introduce us? Yeah, well, you see, that might be a bit tricky, you know, with all the people around him and that. I tell you what, I'll nip off and get it now, shall I? Yeah, you do that, day. I look after the girls. That's right, you look after the girls. Hamburgers all round. No must on mine. Thanks a lot, mate. See you in a minute. There we go, then. That's for you, Bernadette. Hope you have a nice day, darling. Want you want one, love? To Vera. To Vera. There we are. What sign is Vera? Is that you, darling? Oh, lovely. What sort of Taurus are you? Terrific. You're a beautiful Taurus? Oh. Honey, look, Harry. Ah, oh, she's not there. Hey, Jamie. Have you seen Edna anywhere? Hello, Mr. Cross. Ralph. Uh, Edna? No, not today. Why have you lost her? I didn't lose her. She lost herself. One minute she was walking behind us, then she's gone. And it's not easy trying to find someone in these crowds, you know. Hey, you don't have to tell me. It took us ages to find these two girls before. And have you found them? Oh, ah, yeah. They're uh, over there by the hamburger stall. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and get his autograph. What, this fella? Yeah. Hey, he's an astrologer. Perhaps you could ask him if he can see where Edna is. Ask him. You must be joking. I don't believe in that sort of thing. It's an idea, Harry. It's a daft idea. All right, suit yourself. I'm going to go and get his autograph. Hey, Damon. You ask him, will you? You're nearer than me. To Priscilla. Oh, that's a nice thing. I've not seen that hey, one. Hey, uh, Russell. Um, Mr Cross has lost her, hasn't it? You couldn't look into something for us and find her or something, could you? Which one's Mr Cross? Uh, the miserable old so over there. Judging by the state of him, she's best off lost. <laughs> um, can I have your autograph anyway? Yeah, of course you can. I don't want a rotten bit of paper. How about one of these photos? Who's it to? Uh, Wendy, please. To Wendy. It's a nice name for a big strapping lad like you. Joy. I told you it wouldn't be much use. Although they're making an announcement over the tannoy. That's a good idea. I don't know. I don't think they know what they're doing in there. They're just form fillers. They even took down my date of birth. Now what good's that gonna be? Attention please. Attention please. Uh, we have a message for Mrs. Edna Croft. Mrs. Edna Croft. Would you please come to the Lost Children's Tent where your 66-year-old husband is waiting for you? Mrs. Edna Cross to the Lost Children's Tent, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, funny. Very funny, eh? Ah, oh, come on, Harry. It is meant to be a fun day. <laughs> no, it isn't. The dap woman got herself lost so she can get herself found. I'm going to seek to find a beer tent or something. <laughs> oh, I love the summer. People seem to have a... I don't know, happy feels them, don't they? Well, that's because the wolf relaxes the muscles. See, in the winter, the cold tenses up the muscles and you become more intense. Well, how come, right? It's always tight and long, long summer, is there? Because, as you said, the long, hot summer increases the tension. Look, if it was just pleasantly warm and comfortable, you'd relax. I'll tell you what. 
I'm finding it difficult to relax with all these lovely girls in their thin summer dresses <laughs> and braless t-shirts. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Excuse me, but are you a nurse? Yes. I thought I recognised you from somewhere. Have I nursed you? No, you nursed my mum, Mrs. Clark. Mrs. Clark? Mrs. Clark. Mrs. Clark with an E. I remember you. You, you were on her ward. What, what was wrong with her? Poorly lungs. Oh, yes. Now I remember. She was one of um, Mr. Owen's patients. Well, she was supposed to be. Sorry, how do you mean? She never saw him. Only some young foreign doctor. It's <laughs> off in the way. Can I sit down with you for a minute? Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, thanks. So, um, how's your mother now? She's dead. She died on your ward. I'm sorry, I didn't know. But she was on your ward. Well, yes, but... Well, how, did, how didn't you know that she died then? You were supposed to be looking after her. Well, I... Hey, hey, hey look. Maybe Kate had a few days off. And then your mother died. And then when she came back, well, your mother had gone. But you'd know for sure. And you'd ask, wouldn't you? Where she is. Well, not necessarily, Mr. Clark. You see, I probably thought she was discharged or transferred. Transferred? But where do you transfer an 80 year old woman with poorly lungs to? She was in hospital to get better, but she didn't. Look, Mr. Clark, I'm a nurse as well. There's a lot of patients that pass through wards. You can't remember them all. I, I love my mum. I do. You can see that. I, I just can't understand how she could die and, and you not notice. Did you come on your own? Yeah. I've got no one else to come with. Uh, me mum was all I had. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't have thought hospitals held many nice memories for you. No, no. I like hospitals. There's a sort of atmosphere, isn't there? You know, the noises and, and smells. I would have liked to have been a doctor. Yeah, if you want to. She wants to. She won't. Don't forget my telephone number, will you? No. Don't forget mine. We've got one, but it's been cut off. You can get a message to me through Ruth, though. Right, I will. It's a pity I'm working. We could go off for a day to run some oldies. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, well, maybe I'll take a couple of days off working. Oh, you not here, huh? Where, then? What would you take me for? I'll take you for the Chinese, if you like. All right. Thank you, baby girl. Oh. I'm going to make the tea for me, Mum. All right, you have to. Yeah, I promised. Come on, Wendy. I just need a walk of the water over. Ow! Oh, hey, you. Come on. We've got to go home. You have. I haven't. Uh, I'll take it home if you like. Will you? Yeah. Thanks. Tra, Wendy. I'll see you tomorrow. Tra, Neil. So what are you going to do now, then? Do you believe in life after death? <laughs> no. I didn't. But sometimes I feel as if mother is, is near. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. And that's why I like hospitals. You know, mother died in a hospital. And so if I'm going to find her, then I'll need to be where she'll be. Are you looking for your mother? Oh, no, no. no not like that. <laughs> I'm not daft. But there are people who reckon you can contact the other side. And I half believe you can. Yeah, but there's no definite proof, is there? Well, well no, until there see... is, I'll just believe it's a load of twaddle. Anyway, I think we better go. Yeah, yeah, I think we better. <laughs> well, it was nice to have met you, Mr. Clark. John? Yeah, John. And I'm sorry I didn't remember your mother. Yeah. <laughs>
What the hell's going on? I've been ringing you for the past two days. You must have got me messages. You better come in. I don't want to argue on the doorstep. I don't want to argue anywhere. What's going on? I think I might ask you that, Tom. What? I'm sorry, I don't understand. A few days ago, we were fine. Now suddenly, I'm a leper. A few days ago, I thought we were fine, but uh, I was wrong, wasn't I? You were fine, but we weren't. I was fine? We were fine. What's happened in between to change it all? Your birthday, remember? Do you mean all this is because I have to cancel dinner? It's why you cancel dinner. Look, I'm sorry. Something came up. I just couldn't get out of it. Oh, and what was it that came up? This incredibly important, can't be cancelled thing? It was business for crying out loud. God, well, I shouldn't have to explain that to you. You know how important these things can be. Oh, yes, I do. So she was a business client, was she? No. No. I didn't think she looked like a businesswoman. You saw her? Where? I saw you come out of the factory together. Very cosy. You were spying on me? I was delivering your bloody birthday present. Oh. I told you I didn't like birthdays, now I dislike them even more. Yes, well, if you wouldn't mind leaving now. I would mind, and I'm not going to. Oh, look, this is stupid. I'm sorry if I told you a fib. You lied to me. Oh, come on, a white lie. It's not as if she was a girlfriend or anything. Well, who was she then? I can't tell you. Then I don't believe you. Please go. No. I'm not going until we've sorted this thing out. Might take rather a long time. I'm prepared to wait. I'll go make some coffee. Not much sign of life, Harry. Where have you been? Oh, hello. We've been looking everywhere for you. We've been worried sick. We really have. We thought something had happened to you. We searched the park high and low and you sat here drinking tea. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? Would you like a cup of tea? I wouldn't mind a cup of tea, Harry. No, I don't. And he doesn't want one neither. We want an explanation. I want an explanation. Why did you and Ralph get lost? You what? Well, I knew where I was, but I didn't know where you were, so you must have been lost. So I thought, if they're not back in half an hour, I'll go home. We should have thought about coming home, Oh, we? shut up. Did either of you get Russell Grant's autograph? Oh, no, sorry, Annie. We were too busy looking for you. Oh, well, no need to worry. I got it myself. Are you ready to go yet? No. I'm not going until you see how stupid you're being. Stupid? Me. You phone up and cancel a dinner date and then you take out your smart young lady She's friend. She's not my smart young lady friend. Then who is she? It doesn't matter! It matters to me. I can't tell you! Then get out and leave me alone, Heather. You will not put up with men spitting on me, Tom. I've had enough of it. Believe me. Believe you? You've lied to me about another woman. She's not another woman! Well, God, she's a girl, for Christ's sake. She's 17. Oh, and that makes it all right, does it? Heather, please, don't make me tell you. Tell me what? She's me daughter! Rowena's me daughter, now you know. No one else knows about her, so I'd be grateful. What about her mother? A brief encounter a long time ago. 
a classic first time pregnancy. We were both students at the time. Neither of us wanted to get married, so I helped out as I could financially, and I see Rowena occasionally. I haven't seen her mother for about ten years. What about your father? He's desperate for grandchildren, surely he knows. No, and he never will. But Tom! No! He mustn't. It'd probably break his heart. Once upon a time, I did think about telling him when she was about two. But I didn't. Now it's too late. He'd resent all the years of her growing up, and that had come between us. So you won't tell him because you think he might not love you as much? I won't tell him because I love him too much to see him have all those wasted years thrown at him in one lump. If you can't understand that, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. You've had 17 years to tell him. God, do you think I don't know that? Do you think it doesn't screw me up inside every time he talks about having grandchildren? All those regrets are on me. They're mine. I live with them every day. If I was to tell him now, it wouldn't ease them from me. It'd have just doubled them up onto him. I can't do that, do you understand? I can't do it, so not one word, right? I'm not sure. Not one word, Heather. So now you know. That's another regret.